Unfalsifiable claims do not mean that they are true or real and it gives us no reason to adopt them. Saying to someone you cannot disprove X gives us no good reason to actually adopt the belief of X. If someone claims that something exists, it is not enough that their claim cannot be falsified, it is necessary that their claim is verified. Arguing that one's beliefs need to be disproven is also known as the burden of proof fallacy. Yes, I understand. If someone came to you and said there exists an all-powerful being who knows everything, created the whole universe and human life, you would surely ask for proof, some sort of evidence to back up the claim. The burden of proof lies on the one who makes the claim. It is the responsibility of the person with the belief to prove their belief. The skeptic cannot be expected to prove the non-existence of their belief and it is fallacious to expect someone to prove a negative. Unless evidence can be displayed all unfalsifiable beliefs are just as meaningless as a belief in a teapot orbiting the sun. I would like to spin this analogy in favour of the theist. Go ahead. Suppose we are walking in a vast field in the British countryside. After miles and miles of complete empty land, we stumble upon a brick built house, a really lovely house, double glazed windows, a chimney, a lovely front door, etc, etc. I then turn to you and ask, how do you think this house got here? How would you then respond? Well, I would obviously say that there were once builders here and they built this house. Okay, if I then said to you, no, I do not believe builders were here. I believe builders were never here. In fact, no conscious being has ever visited this land. This house just appeared out of nothing. All the bricks and the glass and the wood just came into existence out of nothing and arranged itself into this house. What would you then say to that? I would think you were talking nonsense. Right, but what if I said to you that you could not in fact disprove my claim? There is no evidence that shows my belief is wrong. There is nothing disproving that the house came into existence out of nothing. Then I would say you were falling into the burden of proof fallacy. Exactly. Because of your understanding of the empirical world, because of your understanding of cause and effect, you claim the burden of proof should be on me to prove that the whole house came into existence out of nothing. So then, when the atheist makes the same claim about the entire universe, is it not fair to then say that they too should share the same burden of proof? If the atheist can claim that the whole universe, all the planets, all the stars, all the matter, all conscious minds came out of nothing, no creator, no designer, then why do they not share this burden of proof? Thank you for watching this clip from Philosophy Vibe. If you did enjoy, then please watch the full video linked below. Also, don't forget to like and share, and for more philosophical debates and discussions, please subscribe to the channel.